Hey Bethel, this is Derek, one of your Richland campus elders. It's incredible the way that my heart can create excuses to hide personal greed for money. It will tell me, you need some self-care, it's okay to purchase that, or you need a break, it's fine to take that vacation that will pull you away from church on Sunday. Or, on the other end of the spectrum, you need to be frugal and think of the future. You don't need to support that cause or person right now. Now, none of these are inappropriate reasons at the right time, but I confess that my heart will conjure them up at the wrong time as excuses just to hide my greed. So how do I know if I'm, my heart is being generous or greedy? Well, I don't have any get generous quick schemes for you, but let's see what Paul tells us about this subject in 2 Corinthians chapter 8. After saying that generosity isn't a command, but rather proof of our love, Paul reminds us about the gospel in verse 9, saying, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you, by his poverty, might become rich. Paul goes on to celebrate that the truth of the gospel changed the hearts of the people so that they actually desired to be generous. You see, church, when my heart is confusing me, making me question if I'm being generous or greedy, the thing that my heart needs is to be overwhelmed by the riches of who I am because of Jesus. It needs reminded that we have been given freedom from God's wrath, Romans 9.23. That even in difficult ministry, there can be joy, 2 Corinthians 6.10. That we have inner strength through the Holy Spirit's power, Ephesians 3.16. And that we are assured of a right relationship with God because of Jesus, Colossians 2.2. These are just scratching the surface of the ocean of the riches we have because we are being held by Jesus. And we get to spend the rest of our lives diving into these riches like Scrooge McDuck in his pile of coins. You don't need better planning or to get better at making pro-con lists to be generous. No, we need Jesus and his mighty work to be done in our hearts. And lastly, in this passage, we're reminded that generosity actually draws us together as a church. When my heart is being squirrely, I need people with whom I can be blunt and honest about my confusion between generosity and greed. People who can work with me first to remember the riches of Jesus and then to work out on a practical level generosity. So Bethel, today, Let's remember that Jesus became poor and the ways that you are rich through him. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.